yeah oh god this thing is like a hickey gone wrong since i'm always in a hotel room i'm gonna just show you i'm gonna show you some things that i bring that's the way life goes i've been using this scrunchie since june i got it for a dollar and i love it it's red velvet the only scrunchie i've been using other than that I have not been using any other scrunchie because this is just everywhere I go. How did I work with that? Honestly, I don't know either. How did I even do it? I was doing my eyeliner wings and I was like, Yo, this is only taking me a good minute. It ends up taking like 15 minutes. Like, what the fuck? The body wash. There you go, this. I love the way it smells. It's all nice and thick. It is related to marijuana, but it's not marijuana. You know what I mean? It's not illegal. I curl my lashes every single day not every single day every single day i go outside <laughs> you know how some people can't live without eyeliner i can't live without curling my lashes oh and applying something to my lips i do not like going out with bare lips like at all i'm just more into um eye makeup or lips obviously i mean i can't just have bare empty lips i have a lot of lip liners honestly i stopped using lip liners for a really long time like do you like this fancy gloss on my lips I'm wearing lip gloss and lip liner. Damn, this is a really old lip gloss. I have this old MAC. My sister gave this to me and this is already like pretty much gone. These are the actual good colors on this one. These are like way too nude, so I guess I use those two on top over um, a noticeable lip color because I do not like looking nude. Like I don't like the look of like pure nude lips. That's just not my thing at all. A lot of nudes don't really look good on everyone. Because some people really need to have some color on their lips. I need to have color on my lips or else I look blech. There's some like makeup looks that I really regret doing because I look way too pale. On my 19th birthday, I put on this palish type of color on my eyelids. Pinky, light pink. And another light pinky nude on my lips. Like it just didn't look right. Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation. I really don't use this that much. It's just used because my mom gave it to me. I've had it for a long time, but like, the modern renaissance, because it's fall. I'm a little sick, so that's why I sound like a dude. It's fall, so I gotta bring out the fall colors. Or the Morphe 350 matte. They're necessary for the fall. Pawns wet cla- uh, Pawns wet cleansing. <laughs> why can't I talk right? They're just wipes. This is a rose water. It makes my face nice and shiny. This little bottle was also for a facial spray, but like, I finished it all, so I- Poured some of the Mario Badescu, so I don't have to carry it around the big bottle. Still hate it when I'm oily on my T zone. I'm not about that. I just wish my face would be naturally matte on the T zone and dewy on the high points of my face. It's like I'm wearing makeup when I'm not wearing makeup. Well, back then I used to like my face looking all matte. Honestly, <laughs> in my head I would say Laura Mercier Blue Herbal Spot Treatment. Dude, I love Kiehl's. Honestly, that's like that is my favorite skincare brand. It works for my skin. And I also use this um, Kale's Clearly Corrective White Purifying Foaming Cleanser along with this toner, which is the Clarity Activating Toner. And I also use the Spot Treatment. I have like a three-step process for using this one. I don't like the old marks that pimples leave on my face. I like how up front, most of my pimples are like not visible. A lot of my pimples happen among my hairline or whatever my hair stay getting greasy or whatever like over here so i have to like separate my face separate my hair from my face you know make it look like oh oh look these babies are super necessary if you got a little peach fuzz or like a mustache or like eyebrow problems like me i have a whole bunch of these brushes i actually like this way more than the beauty blender i've had the beauty blender for a really long time but I threw it out because I've used that for way over a year. The shape concealer that everyone uses, but it's really good. And you can find this at every drugstore. You can find it anywhere. My professional necessary for when I cake my face. There you go. I have like a whole bunch at home. Little scissors for like, I guess like when I'm doing my eyebrows up there. These are my favorite tweezers. These are really old tweezers. These face oils by Kiehl's are fucking amazing. You know, I wish this was sponsored. I wish this was a sponsored video, but it's not sponsored, so. Putting oils on your face sounds fucking gross, especially when you have oily acne skin. But this type of shit, this is amazing. I don't know, I just, I love the feel of it. It's amazing, it's nice and thin. Not thick like moisturizer, not extremely greasy. And yeah, that's that. Peace. I'm done with this video, man, I'm done. Bye. Peace out.